day two of Road America. Here we go. Let's get some water. You dropped it. And let's get on the road. A little cold start. Ah, medium warm start, I guess. It's like 70 degrees out. Impressive. That's right, pick up my water <laughs> bottle. Let's get to Road America. Hey, there's the G-Wagon. G-Wagon! We have made it to Road. Oh, there's a Lamborghini. There's a Lamborghini. I think it's a STO. No, that's, uh, I think it's just an Just Evo. go with it, call it a, call it a, it's an STO! <laughs> <laughs> a one of one! It's a Huracan. one of one Huracan STO! Evo! Evo! Super Trofeo! Lamborghini Aventador Super Trofeo Evo Huracan! Look how Huracan. beautiful that is! Oh yeah, that looks good! The Evo Huracan Performante Aperta is the sickest Lamborghini that there is! Don't forget SVJ! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Road America. Let's go see some cars and some beautiful racing. Would you like to win our Miata? Well, today I'm going to tell you just how to do that. If we make it to 10,000 subscribers on YouTube by May of 2024, which is our five year YouTube anniversary, it's going to be given to one of you lucky subscribers. Wait! Uh, so make sure to subscribe. Because these guys and gals are going to be able to hand off a lot of important information. I'm sure he's gonna be some real? Pants after this. Is it fake? I have no idea, but it kind of looks a little more real. You had to leave it in the comments what if anybody knows anything about the Cobra, if it is real or fake, but it is super nice. It's not really clean, which I would assume that it's more, more than real. likely real. That's why I love, I mean, Road America the Racing is so fantastic, but it's the cars that you just find parked everywhere. You're definitely going to have to tell us if it's real or not. Me? Yes, <laughs> you. Uh, yeah, it's real. So my ever long question has been answered. Do I want an R8 or a Gallardo? My mind is made up. It is a Gallardo. I think it looks that much better than an R8. What do you think? I agree. Do you think they realize that they are going 150 miles an hour? Probably not. What I noticed from the GT4 class as opposed to the GT3, the GT4 is tend to break at about 400. Oh, we got a car. Continue. Whereas the GT3s break around the 300. It's crazy, because they both carry about the same speed going down this, this straight. Here they come. And I must say that the Porsche GT4 RS or Club Sport, whatever they call them, they sound the best. Do you see our brand new- It's our new race car, let's go find it's it! It's the only one that we can afford! I'm in, I got my down payment right now! So I got an idea. I think that we can mostly just like buff it out. Is that gonna be that hard of a problem? We'll just straighten the wheels, put a little wax on there, it'll be just fine. We do know you like to clean cars. Yeah. This will be a little bit of a challenge, but I think that we can do it in about 12 hours. We'll be racing tomorrow. <laughs> For sure. It's definitely our new race car. Uh, that brings a whole new definition of weight savings and aerodynamics. I have barely any work to do on this side. Look, you already fixed it. I told you to be quick. 
into turn five for the first time. This is the first time the cars are going to be hard on the brakes all race long. They didn't get to do it on the first green flag. Exactly. actually have two cars off in turn five. Yeah, we're getting pictures on the big screen of that now. You're not supposed and to do that. We're supposed to do it that like way. Potentially, we're going to get a replay hey, of what happened now. while we look up who that was. And just your typical turn five incident there is, uh, boy, big credit there to Marine. Had to take uh, off the track and Bruce somehow found his way through. Now both of the cars, I'm really impressed that the uh, front-wheel drive Honda was able to pull himself out of the gravel. They're both leaving that scene of the incident and down there. And that's why turn five, five is our slow. favorite corner. I think we should. All right, so far so good. Gables having to hold off uh, that part of racing. Aston Martin trying around the outside there. With, uh, It's only a little bit of it, but hey, everybody's got to start somewhere. <laughs> it's part of our new race car. What a day of racing. Let's get into the air conditioning of the Macan S and talk about our day. Okay. Are we still at Road America? Yeah, I have an Aston Martin now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm using it. And we just got a new race car. At least new to us after it got crashed. Oh, <laughs> uh, Road America was so much fun this year. I yes. don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit sunburned, a little bit of heat exhaustion. There's a lot of bit of heat exhaustion <laughs> from this man. That was so much fun. There were, here's the takeaways from the weekend. There were quite a few accidents. Yes, the best race series to watch there was the, I screwed up all the time. GR. It's the Toyota GR Cup, which is GR86. It's racing. It, that was the most fun to watch because the cars are exactly the same. Yeah. Um, so everybody was competitive the whole time. And the, the winning car was this far ahead of the second place it car. It was seven thousandths, they, they said. They went around the carousel exactly Side by side. Side by side. It was so amazing. I mean, is it nice to see Porsche 911 RSR, RS1, whatever they call them right now? Though those race cars, the Ferrari 296, the Aston Martins, is that fun? Yes. I would almost rather see them in the pits. Yeah, because they're cool. <laughs> and go around turn five one time. Well, I'll say the GT4 Aston Martins are pretty, pretty cool because... Yes. Or actually, it's the TC Aston Martin G, right? It's so confusing. But I don't know. Whatever's racing around with the GT4 RSs, which aren't GT4 RSs, they're GT4 Club Sport RS. I but don't they, know. You, you can race a GT4 RS in two different tier. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. 
But the Aston Martins are pretty cool because there's a lot of them in the series. And we own one. Yeah. So it's kind of like the GR86 because there's a lot of like close racing. Yes. But well, it's when you get to the actual GT racing, like the GT3s, there's not as much racing anymore. It's no. just lap after lap, go fast. Once they go around the first lap, which is four miles long, they kind of spread out and it's just like qualifying. Yeah. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We had such a blast this year. It was definitely the best weather year and probably one of the most fun years for me because of all the crashes. Car, crashes and the cars in the parking lot Yeah, that were quite amazing. I mean, the SF90, they're yeah. kind of commonplace to us. We've seen three of them. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure to click like, comment, which, uh, race series you would want to see if it is actually the Toyota GR Cup series or if you would want to see all the fast cars. It kind of goes into our theory about a uh, Chevy Aveo when you can use 10 tenths of it all the time. Yeah. That's what the GR86 is kind of we're able to do. Anyways, it was super fun with you guys. Take care. We'll see you very soon. I didn't tell you to subscribe, but make sure you subscribe. And one's for me. <laughs>